Hello, Goal Tending students. My name is Guillaume Duclair. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. Don't care anymore. Every game is a blank canvas for a new experience. You walk in with high expectations about all the phenomenal saves you're going to make and how you're totally going to get a shutout. Nobody walks in wanting to lose or not caring about losing. Unless you're a jaded minor league player that just shows up so he can get his money, you should care about winning. By the end of the first period, you should know what you're getting yourself into. If it's five to nothing, you might as well go home with your dick tucked between your legs. You could replace yourself with a basket of chicken wings and it wouldn't change the outcome of the game. Goalie Smarts episode one was about how to get pulled from the net, but what if you're an only child and there's no one to replace you? You're gonna sit there and roast in the red light like a gas station hot dog. So when you're out there losing count of how many goals you let in and the damage is too deep to fix, what are you gonna do with yourself? Well, pay attention because I got what you need. In this episode of Goalie Smarts, I'm going to teach you how to handle the emotional toll of a terrible game and how to survive without using therapy or your little brother as a punching bag. This is Goalie Smarts episode 58, how to handle a blowout. Step one, find someone to blame. Generally speaking, a blowout will happen if either the goalie isn't doing his job or the defense isn't doing his job. But if you're in the net, it has to be the defenseman's fault. Start by letting the defenseman know that they need to figure their shit out in a firm and aggressive tone. They will not respect you if you ask them politely. Explain to them how it is their job to cover the man in front and ask them if they chose the right position in the right sport. I heard the wrestling team needs players. Once you're done with that, explain to the offense that you can't come back from a blowout if you don't score goals. By the way they've been acting, this might be new information to them. Now that everyone on your team thinks you're an entitled prick, continue to lose track of how many goals you've let in. This rink probably uses those non-regulation oversized nets. You should report that to the top executives of the league. They'll probably penalize the home team and give your team the win. There's a new strategy for winning right there, complaining. Step two, try to turn it around. Five goals is within striking distance, so maybe if you could tighten up your end, you could give your defense a chance to gain some ground. I mean, you weren't intentionally letting in goals to start with, so I can only imagine you could slightly improve. If you're lucky enough to play in a league with long intermissions, take some time during the first intermission to read some bland, cookie-cutter Instagram wisdom and share it with your teammates. Hopefully this will inspire you and your teammates to turn things around. Hey man, you know failure is a bruise, not a tattoo. That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Return to the ice with a newfound sense of gratitude and appreciation thanks to some Instagram account manager who works at a click farm in Bangladesh. It was only a matter of time before the sweatshops started manufacturing social media bullshit. Take a minute to yourself on the ice to forgive yourself for the goals you've let in, accept the past, and move forward. Step three, continue to get lit up. It appears your pep talk didn't work. The defense is still allowing a full-scale conference to happen in front of the net, and apparently George Soros has rigged the puck with magnets and electromagnetic fields to change the course of the puck after it's shot. When in doubt, blame the Illuminati. At this point, this game is a lost cause. There is no point to having any emotional stake in the outcome, so the last thing to do is to just show how much you don't give a shit. Oh, wow. That sucks. That's like goal number 30. Oh, wow, that sucks. Too bad I don't give a shit anymore. Thank you for watching the 58th episode of Goalie Smarts with Guillaume Duclair. This idea was suggested by Luke Ease. If you have an idea for the next episode, comment it below. Otherwise, I'm Guillaume Duclair, and I'm out. Yeah, bitches.